the internet, and this is not a popular position to take, but the internet reflects American values. I mean, because of its, because of its engineering history, the internet reflects uniquely American values. People don't want to accept that. People don't want to sort of talk about that. But the internet does in its uh, policy framework, in its sort of naturally libertarian state, the fact that it sort of allows all this sort of you know, unchecked uh, innovation at the, at the edges and very, little, and, and very little sort of regulation at the core, it reflects fundamentally American values. And as the internet governance process becomes more naturally globalized, as it must, as it's happening, does, do those values change? Because I think that we sometimes in, in the US, and especially in these policy communities, take it as a given that our utopian, my utopia, you know, my utopia where civil liberties reign and we all get to swing our fist as much as we want until it hits somebody in the nose, um, uh, is everybody else's utopia. And I just don't necessarily accept that that's the case. I don't, not only do I not think that's the case in China, I don't necessarily think it's the case in France. You know, I mean, I think that, I think that even our, our, our purported allies in, in these issues, the people we think of as being on our side of things, aren't, wouldn't necessarily view the world the way we view the world. We being the sort of internet, the sort of the, the technological priesthood and the internet, you know. The day, drivers could occur in this scenario. Drivers occur. Disasters, crime, malware. Those things can change even the American sense. I, I agree. Rainey said, the balance between liberty and security is actually circumstantial. I wholeheartedly right agree. I'm just saying that I don't. I, I think that the, the the point that I'm trying to illustrate is just more of a cynical point, which is I think we tend to want to think that the, the inter, because the internet is good, it'll stay good. Because the internet has been uh, a force for liberty, it'll stay. It'll stay a force for liberty. And I think that the sort of cynical view of that is all of those things are the result of conscious policy decisions, conscious engineering choices, and you can make conscious engineering choices the wrong way. And you can make conscious policy decisions the wrong way. And people are already doing it, as Marilyn said. And, and that is, if, if we're not successful in our fight, we're going to lose and we're going to see the, the impact of that. Um, so I just, I'm, I'm here to be the dark cloud on, on sort of the, you know, this sort of idea of balance, which I just don't think exists.